جمال نزلها على المستجمر جي عم تطلع بصور المجلة ما بقدر نزلها نزلها ماشي انا بدي نزلها لا ما بتقدري تنزليها امي بدها تصور معنا عم لك نزلها خلاص خليني روحي اقعدي مع اخواتي ما سمعت شو قلت لك؟ روحي عدي مع اخواتي يا جماعة أنا بدي بيع أمي في حدا بيشتري؟ الحبايب يا ضنايا أنت وكل أملي ونايا أنت يا أحلى غنوة في دنيا حلوة غنت معايا وجمال يلا غمد 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 ماما غمد غمد يا روح يا جمال غمد شو؟ ما في حدا بيشتري؟ أنا بدي بيع على أمي يا حبيبي أمي على ما يبدو ما حدا بده يشتري يا جماعة بقدم لكم أمي أم جمال الإنسانة البسيطة اللي تعبت وكافحت لحتى صرت مهندس وحبتني يارا بنت الأكابر أمي اللي ما ردي حدا يشتريها باركي لي أمي أنا بشتري أنا بشتري أنا بشتري يا مين اللي قدر Thanks for tuning in, guys. Today's females think that one must cater and pander to them no matter what. It's like you own the world. Now, what did the old generation 
females do and how did they participate in a relationship, what did they put in or what did they put on the table, what did they bring to the table as compared to this new generation of females that we see today, uh, what do they bring to the table. Now I understand we've looked at things psychologically, uh, for example female psychology and uh, Bright Falls Law, hypergamy and these other things that do play a role in female behaviour, even to some extent male behaviour. But I just want to make a comparison, you know, c compare the old to the new. By looking at this video, even though it's not, not a real video, it's just some acting, you realise that a, a mother is washing her or bathing her son using a, a tin bowl the old school, the old style way of bathing her son, which is a, requires a lot more effort as compared to just throwing your child in a bath or throwing your child into a shower, getting them to shampoo their hair and you know, a couple of minutes later get them out of there, turn off the shower, get the towel, bobs your uncle. Now the, the father here, the male here, recalls all the effort that the mother did put into raising him. Not all the effort, some, we do see some things, uh, some very simple things which are really important that I can just quit very easily bring into this discussion, for example, things like daycare, services where you can leave your child in a place for your child to be looked after and go out there and pretty much work, play, do whatever you want. So really, essentially, you're not really raising your child. And any person that says, oh, I'm raising my child whilst they're in a daycare is just full of themselves. That's just bullshit. Um, not only do the snowflakes of the new female generation expect the man to pay for the wedding, but they expect the man to pay for the exit of the wedding as well these days. We're talking about the house. So they want to take the house, uh, take the kids, do their best so that the father doesn't see the kids, and uh, assets, money, and, and the rest of it and pretty much also they want to leave the rejection on the man when I say leave the rejection on the man I'm talking about the psychological baggage the emotional baggage they don't want the the father or, or the maybe this man hasn't got any kids from from this female that he was married to but they even want the rejection that the female wants the father to feel or the man to feel that he was the one rejected but if you were to look into the actual relationship and dissect things properly and listen to what was occurring in the relationship, you will realize that it was actually the mother or the, or the female that started to pick up on the signs that the father or the, the man didn't want anything to do with her and he started to you know, pretty much lose interest because of all the abuse that he was going through. The mother or the, the female doesn't want the world to know this. So she wants to make it appear that it was the man that was the one rejected uh, that was rejected when really and essentially it was her that was being rejected. So there's a lot of other things that people do not discuss. Maybe it's not that important to discuss, but if it was discussed, uh, for, for, I mean, in, in my relationship, in my previous relationship, it's very easy to prove that I didn't want anything to do with her anymore, with, with my ex. I was just sick of her, just sick and tired of her abuse. I was sick and tired of her abuse towards not only myself, but also towards the children, and I let her know that, and that's where I stuffed up. I went wrong. Um, I've got that on a recording. A couple of days later, she leaves me, so she knew. This is all whilst she was pleading for me to stay with her, begging me to stay with her, uh, grabbing me around my legs, not allowing me to leave the house and what have you. So, if people, if the world knew the truth about how these females are really the ones that are being rejected, then this will cause a lot of anxiety towards the females. And this is what feminism or feminists, male feminists, female feminists, don't want to do. They don't want these female snowflakes to feel any anxiety because... How can we let these snowflakes feel anything negative? It used to be the days, back in the days, it used to be about how spiritual a man was. Now, when a man would approach a female or approach the father, the family, 
to seek marriage of a specific female, it was about how much how much Quran he knew or how much of the Bible he knew, how spiritual he was. That was back in the days and you know, we're talking at least ten years and before that, maybe even five years ago. But I remember the days about ten, fifteen years ago and, and now it's funny. Uh, I, <laughs> I find it amusing how it's really sad, but it's a, there's a fine line between laughing and crying. It used to be about how spiritual the man was. And see how it's all on the man. It's all on the man. But it wasn't about the money. Today, it's got nothing to do with how spiritual the man is, how nice and decent this man is, how religious this man is. It's got nothing to do with that at all. It's about how much money he has. It's about, it's about how much property he owns. This is what females are pursuing. Another observation I also have picked up on is that females today, even though they will get their fathers or their fathers make sure they probe into this scenario with specific questions that are materialistic based what they do is the female makes sure that she dresses up in a veil, in a scarf, in a hijab, luring this man in and once this man has been lured in and, and the documentation has been done and, and the wedding has become uh, pretty much a contract, that the contract is now signed and the words have, have uh, pretty much uh, been passed over from the sheikh to the couple, the sheikh or a JP, justice of peace, to the couple that you guys are now man and wife, uh, husband and wife, you're married, you'll find that a couple of months later the females just take off their veils and, you know, it becomes obvious that it was nothing but an illusion. It was deception on the female's part to make it out like she was religious as if this man was, was pretty much getting married to something really special, a special snowflake when really it was nothing but deception. I have a lot of females telling me, but not all women are like that. Not all women are like that. Really? Okay. So, let's just go by a, a hypothesis, a hypothetical uh, situation of 5% of females are not like that. So, we have 5% of females that are, that are good. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. So, I have to go through 95% of females to get to a little special 5%, how many other men have to do that as well? 95% of men? 75% of men? It doesn't make sense. The equation doesn't add up. And the reason why we have so many females going astray is due to the fact that the government panders to them. The government panders to them. Legislation bends over backwards for the females and does nothing for men. It actually abuses men. And what we call a family court is not a family court. It is nothing but pretty much family engineering. It is social engineering on a grand scale. And we're starting to see the repercussions today more than ever, uh, as compared to the past that is, because it's going to get a lot worse of what this family court has pretty much being uh, they've been getting up to believe me it's really not good at all what am I going to gain from being in a relationship what am I going to gain sex I mean do I sound blatant and blunt I'm going to have to I'm sorry what am I going to gain from being in a relationship or oh, a friend I've got many friends I don't, one extra friend that lives in the house with me I'm going to I'm going to get my head done in from that person. If, if they're not pretty much going to be putting in the way I put in, what's the point of them living with me under the same roof? I, I, I personally believe what I'm going to lose is more important than what I'm going to gain from being in a relationship. Now, I know that if I'm in a relationship, I'm going to lose money. I'm going to lose time that I spend with family, time that I spend with friends. And I'm going to lose true independence. And true independence is something that I don't want to lose. And really, going back to gain, gain, what females that I know today actually do the washing, 
which females wash the clothes, the dishes, which females actually will make a husband or a, a, a male mate a proper hot meal without a little grudge or without whinging and bitching about what they're doing for their man as if the man doesn't do it do, do enough as it is so gain man I, I've got I wash the dishes on my own I've got a microwave I can heat my own food I've got an oven I pay my bills I'm independent I'll be fine I've got heaps of friends I might be alone but I'm, no, I'm never lonely and I've got m too much things to do to be honest with you I haven't even got time to complete the things that I do want to do and I'm, I'm, I'm alone can you imagine that you know can you imagine the same scenario but being married or being with someone man Anyway, being a single man is the best choice. Choice is key. The, 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 word, the reason why I say choice is key is because it is a choice. Thanks for listening. Peace. I'm out of here.